Hey, good day to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Thursday to all of you. One more day to the weekend. Yay. <laughs> I got some big updates for you. Not, not only for soon-to-be Hurricane Honoree going towards the East Coast and the Northeast, but our next big storm, still potential major hurricane, still coming, guys. So I can only keep warning you. I can only keep showing you. Hopefully you listen. Now, if you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. Of course, if it's a major hurricane, though, and it falls on Sabbath, it's always better to save a life than to take a life on Sabbath. So I will be live streaming no matter what if you have something like that going on. So hit that subscribe button. I am all year around. All I ask is if you know someone that's in these impacts, share this information on social media. Alert others to what's going on. A lot of people don't talk about the things I talk about be honest with you and if you're still loving these tropical updates continue to hit that like button guys thank you so much for supporting my channel it is such a great way to show support and if you don't use social media youtube will suggest it for you just hit that like button i appreciate it now usually i upload a tropical update every afternoon that's for the whole hurricane season just to make sure we can stay on top of what's going on tropical storm Henri is will be hurricane honoring soon but it's going to be in about 48 hours before it starts getting somewhat on a direction towards the southeast coast so there won't be no update this afternoon because of course the major hurricane potential major hurricane that's still coming hurricanes it's going to be a minute so it's, it's not like an update is needed this afternoon we have fred leaving i do have your information for you and Hurricane Grace did make landfall on the east coast of Yucatan at 80 miles per hour. Now for today, you still got a chance for tornadoes from remnants of Fred as it leaves and goes out to the northeast. And you have a 2% chance, and it's still for Boston, Massachusetts, Denver, Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, Providence, Rhode Island, and Worcester, Massachusetts. Which is a little ironic because this is exactly the area that it looks like potential hurricane honorary is going to be affecting and you also have two percent area and a five percent area for tornadoes right here five percent area is scotts bluff nebraska sterling colorado and fort morgan colorado now for tomorrow this cold front is going to start moving towards the midwest and this is going to be the pattern for a while so you have your tornado risk a big risk for tomorrow big two percent with a big five percent and this might actually get enhanced up a little bit to a moderate level right around here but here's your cities at risk. 5% is Omaha, Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Fargo, North Dakota, and Sioux City, Iowa. And this is your 2% cities. The latest update on Grace is so far it's at 75 miles per hour and weakening. It is moving 17 miles per hour to the west. Henri is 9 miles per hour moving to the west. Right now, Henri is 9 miles per hour moving to the west and it has 70 miles per hour winds. It's on the edge of being a hurricane. And the remnants of Fred is moving 17 miles per hour east northeast and it has sustained winds of 25 miles per hour still. Now here's a projected path according to NOAA on Honoree. It's by 2 a.m. on Friday morning. It's still going to be a tropical storm, and it won't be a hurricane until 2 p.m. for tomorrow afternoon. And then all Saturday, if you saw my update video from last night, you'll understand why this is going from hurricane to a tropical storm right around here because the sea surface temperatures literally go from the 80s to the 70s. But that's 2 a.m. on Sunday when it's going to be at its strongest point before it starts downgrading. As far as where it's going to go, it already shifted 150 miles to the west. <laughs> so a lot of ensembles are still showing to the west. Some are still showing to the east. However, that's a pretty big shift. The center of the storm could still be anywhere from out here to all the way to right here, which means in five days, because this is three days, the center of the storm can be anywhere by Long Island, and that's the center. So the effects are going to be all around it. Or it could be way out here. So it's so much questionable going on from the three to five days. But I have some information that can kind of help you with that because 100 miles is showing that it actually could be something. Let me explain. Now in 48 hours when it gets close to the coast and it starts making its northward push, it has it at one of its strongest points. And some of it has it up all the way to a major hurricane. The majority of them shows it could be a Cat 2. Definitely a high-end hurricane. But in five days, when it's predicted to be close to land, it will be on a very strong weakening phase because the sea surface temperatures being around 70-something degrees instead of the 80s that was helping it strengthen, it will be weakening very quickly, at least by four days out. And by five days, it will be a steady, somewhat tropical storm. Now here's a path for honoree. It is showing that in about 48 hours, it's going to be around this section right here making this northward push. 
and you can see it goes right up the coast and a lot of them do show it will go east northeast but as you can see that turn is way later now it was way up here now that turn is right around here right around four days so it will be on its weakening phase three days will be the strongest four days will be weakening so it looks like it'll be a potential tropical storm if anything the only way that could be a, a hurricane is if you get that big high ridge and it pulls it up faster so it cannot get hit with the cool waters for too long and then you'll be dealing with a hurricane however some of the models are showing that it will be a relaxed ridge after it gets pulled up by the high ridge but there is a model that's showing that it will stay high and the upper level low won't be in the way blocking it plus the upper level low that is showing in a few of the models blocking it and steering it around this way and not going in the same model that's showing that it's going to be a high ridge and still pull stronger is the same model that's showing that upper level low is not going to block it if we look at the ensembles according to the gfs within four days it will start intensifying according to almost all the ensembles and as it gets close right before that fifth day mark all of them weaken down to a 990 or a 980 millibar which still brings it to a hurricane and or a strong tropical storm and it is at the last minute you look for the euro to see if the chances for a tropical storm just within the next 72 hours it has a great chance for going on that path it is somewhat going towards a rhode island more than a new jersey however wherever the center is is where you're going to be feeling the effects all around the storm and i want to check also for a chance for hurricane winds within 72 hours it is faint it has up to a 15 maybe 20 tops percent of hurricane winds that will be in that area now I'm going to show you this in a few models. This one is by the GFS. And right here you have your honorary. This is your 500 millibar height. And right here you have that cold air coming in, creating that deep trough with that very high ridge. And right here is your upper level low that's kind of steering things around. But at the same time, the upper level low is bringing in honorary and able to pull it up because it invites it in the high ridge starts to relax down and it don't pull it fast at all it takes its time and that is what makes it weaken down hitting the cold waters for so long plus you have this high pressure over here blocking it from leaving so it has to take this path however if the ridge is not a high ridge it would be a weaker storm because it'd be traveling slower and I'm still showing our potential major hurricane we'll show you more information in a minute but just while I'm here you can see that we still have our potential major hurricane still coming. Links are in the description. Now, as we look at the Euro, here's your deep trough. Here's your high ridge, not so high of, of a spiky high. Here's Honorary. Here's the upper level low. The upper level low pulls Honorary in and swings it north. Somewhat weak, but it strengthens a little bit according to the Euro because it's very warm waters, but it's about to hit cold waters. But at the same time, you can see this high ridge, and that's what pulls it north but then it weakens down and the ridge is pretty much more eastern than right over the northeast so that would pull it up in this direction towards a higher ridge instead of a higher ridge being right here and pulling it up in this direction the arrow shows that it, the upper low, level low is still there blocking it swinging it around and it's a little more eastern with that ridge and it's not so much a big deal where the gfs shows that it takes it in right here with the upper level low you have your high ridge and it swings it around to the northeast at the same time the gfs shows a very high spike of a ridge a little more to the west than up here in the east where the where the euro showed it and that would bring it more this way and swing it on in and then as the ridge passes by about where euro says it will be when it instead of swinging it in it starts pulling it back out towards that ridge now this is a NAM 3K. In my opinion, it's a little bit better information because we can only see up to 60 hours with NAM. Just like if you only see up to 18 hours with the high resolution rapid refresh, it would be better information than a long range model trying to look close. Now the NAM 3K shows that it will take in Honorary. It will start swinging Honorary up to the north. But you can see right here, the NAM 3K puts the upper level low a little more to the west then close to the coast. So with that happening, that would create a higher ridge, more of a spike, and stay in a spike as the storm zings past. But you notice the upper level low is a little more western, 
and it's a higher ridge and it's to the west just like GFS was showing so I would pull it into the northeast so far with the GFS hitting all that warm waters it will get all the way down to a 954 potential major hurricane stay 954 then start weakening in the cooler waters not get down too much still a hurricane hitting mostly for the whole northeast and New England states because you have the whole wind field and rain field that will be around this storm. Then as it goes towards Boston, which is really bad for the scenario because not only this is this going counterclockwise, it will be shoving all this rain and winds into Boston. As it goes over Boston afterwards, still a hurricane, leaving out the northeast, still a hurricane. So it is a, quite a while that the latest run shows it just stays a hurricane before leaving out. Now the Euro takes it as a weaker storm and it pulls it further to the east. Still shows that it will be somewhat going towards uh, New England states where it's going to be affecting Boston the most. So Boston, it looks like no matter what, you might want to watch out for heavy rainfall coming. Then the Euro takes it, does a stall effect, twirl around and go out. A lot of them show this twirl. That's a little stall effect because it's getting blocked by the high pressure, so it can't leave out so fast. And it has upper level low over here trying to push it away. Now, Icon model and the CMC model both show you this. Uh, Icon takes it down to a 996, just like the Euro, where it's not super strong, but it starts intensifying a little late. Potential hurricane right there, 991, getting even stronger to a 988. Then it weakens down a little bit to 991, but by then it's already a hurricane on the northeast. It's still a hurricane, still a hurricane. It just stays there as a hurricane for about 24 hours. Twirls around, then leaves. So there will be a loop, and how close to the New England states is pretty dangerous about this loop. Here's the CMC showing almost the same thing. It's somewhat a strong tropical storm, goes to the New England states, gets stronger right there down to 995, so it could intensify at the last second, and maybe a weak hurricane. Still going towards Boston, twirls around, just like the other one showed, then leaves. Now the H wharf, which always kind of tends to overdo it a little bit, shows that it will strengthen down to 945, and then it'll go towards the New England states, not caring too much for the cooler waters, but it does get it down to a 969, 974. Takes it a little more to the east like the Euro showed, but all this online flooding coming from this counterclockwise motion will be bad for Boston. Stays a hurricane, still a hurricane, does a little stall and twirling effect, weakens down to a tropical storm, then goes out. So, so far a lot of them show that the New England states especially New England states, possibly parts of the Northeast. This storm's going to come into y'all as a hurricane, give you the whole impact, and then leave out a tropical storm. So you're going to get a full impact of the storm. Now, I want to talk about this next potential major hurricane still coming, guys. I hope that some of y'all are really heeding the warning, even though it's not being talked about by everybody. I don't even care about that. My job is to inform you and warn you. I've been seeing this for a good long time. And the one that's been more definite is the second storm than the first. The first one does have chances to go on in the Bay of Campeche. Maybe be a Mexico problem. But this is your velocity potential anomaly. And it is getting stronger for the storm that's been coming. I've been trying to warn people about this. Please share this video. Please just hit the like. Help others get notified of this happening. Still showing a 24th, 25th according to the GFS all the way to the 28th for a very big storm. So around the 25th to the 28th, something big is coming. And our second one is still showing behind it. It's doing something weird this morning with the energy. And the Euro is even still agreeing with this and it's still showing a very strong system. It takes it a little bit sooner. It takes it to around the 24th, maybe the 23rd, and drags it all the way to the 27th. So it still recognizes this big four or five days that we're gonna have this strong system coming in. And instead of one falling behind it, now Euro is showing two. So I brought up the perturbed member so we can check it out from the 25th all the way to the end of the month and see what's coming and see what the updates are. And there is a bunch of things showing that we have problems. I will go through each one that shows a potential major big problem. That way you can see what the trend is on the strong storms. And we'll go through them for you. E6 shows that it's going through the Western Caribbean on the 27th, getting into the Gulf, 
Still getting real strong, intensifying towards Louisiana. That would be hitting by the 31st. Shows that it's going through the Western Caribbean, right around the 27th, 28th. Get into the Gulf of Mexico with a little bit more of a Western push and going towards Texas. Looks like that one's towards San Antonio. And that, that blue you see right there is showing that it is still a major hurricane, and that is on land. You look at E9 right here, it shows that it will form up real big on the 28th, a little bit later, and then finally come in on the 29th in the Gulf. Not quite organized real good, but it starts strengthening up towards land and growing. Still by the 30th and 31st. Right here on 13, it shows that it's going through the Western Caribbean, but taking a little Western push and going towards Mexico and then slide up towards Texas. Right here on 22 is showing the second wave, which is the information I've been showing for a while. It's been pretty consistent. That is a possibility it can go up by the Cayman Islands, and this is the second part of that. So it'd be towards the end of the month, towards the beginning of September. Go straight up over Cuba and towards Florida. And right here on number 18 pretty much shows the story on both of them. It goes up in the Gulf, and they both take a little Western push. So it looks like maybe a one-two punch could be happening from Mexico right there as the second one comes in and takes the same route and strengthens up towards Texas. Now I'm going to show you what's somewhat been, been trending with this storm. This is the one I showed you the other day. It showed it coming in the Gulf, strengthening up, going towards Louisiana as a big hurricane and strong. The next system coming up and headed to the Western Caribbean, somewhat strong. Information we have today is showing the first system still the Western Caribbean, possibly weakening down as it goes over the Yucatan. It goes over the Yucatan, gets into the Gulf, takes a more Western push, becomes a hurricane right there, mostly Southern Texas, Northern Mexico, then goes a little Northern with the storms through Texas. Second system coming in through the Caribbean still takes the same path, goes right past the Cayman Islands looking more organized this morning as a potential major very strong hurricane. Second one is still showing true on the same path even stronger potential major hurricane so far 953 for the Cayman Islands. You can see this play out all in one run this is the first storm about to go to the western Gulf of Mexico. This is from today. Becomes a hurricane. Goes into the Gulf of Mexico and up Texas. As the second one comes into the Caribbean, grows by Jamaica, becomes a major hurricane. As the first one goes to the Gulf of Mexico, becomes a hurricane. Maybe a storm. As the second one comes by Western Caribbean, as a hurricane. Potential major right there. I really hope people are listening to me. Now this is a NAM 3K. Not only will you see your storms are still getting from the remnants of Fred. You see you got a storm warning. There was a tornado warning right there. You do have a lot of that going on over there. Plus you'll see a storm happening in the center of the U.S. That's why you have the tornado warnings for today as well. You'll see it spinning around. But when the cold front comes in, you'll also see this big line of storms that's going to be in front of this cold front that's going to track to the east. So the severe weather event that you have for the Midwest for tomorrow, it is going to be a pretty big event. I do expect it to be a moderate section in there, and I do expect it to drag on another day. Plus, you can see also from the NAM 3K, plus you can see there's a NAM 3K. You can see Honorary coming up potentially getting very strong guys remember nam 3k is the one that showed a higher ridge a little further to the west and so then the euro showing it to the east so that'd pull it more into the northeast than pulling it out but you both see all this in motion i'm gonna play this for you i got it moving kind of fast so it'll just keep looping for you because there's so much going on so you can see more than just one storm if you've never been here before this is the best part of my channel in my opinion I always read the word from our father every day amen that's how we should start our day at the same time, if this update helped you guys, show some love and support to the channel. Hit that like button, please. If you do use social media, please share this to others. There's a lot of people I feel should need to get prepared for this. Because we have something big coming, and it is coming maybe a doubler. All right, I'm going to play this for you. Time and date is on the top left. And today is Proverbs 22. 
A good, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doeth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of, the, of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yes, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of, of strange women is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow, bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips. That thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that sinned unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppressed the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark, which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Amen. Very wise words. God bless you all today. Hope you have a blessed day. It is going to be a minute before we need to worry about things. Definitely need an update tomorrow morning on Honorary. I don't see an update coming for this afternoon. I don't think we need anything. I believe the information we have now is about as close and accurate as we can get. I will see you in the morning. Thank you for all your help. All glory does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. His return is soon. God bless you all. Have a great day. Tomorrow is Friday.